Jimmy K here, Metal Voice. Look at this. The Metal Voice shirts are now on sale. Just go to the video description to find out on how you can purchase one. Metal! Welcome to the Metal Voice. Today on the show, a recurring guest, the one, the only, Mr. David Reese. What's going on, Dave? Hi, Jimmy K. Greetings, everybody viewing the beautiful Metal Voice. Doing fine. Good to talk to you. All right. So today on this show, I got a good, a nice little agenda for everybody. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to talk about your new album, Resilient Heart. We're going to talk yep. about your new video that's coming out. We're going to mm -hmm. talk a little about uh, Peter Baltes and his, uh, you know, quitting accept for all the fans out there. Just a mm -hmm. little discussion on that. And then uh, Dave told me just the other day he has a big surprise he wants announced, but he couldn't tell me till today. So... Big surprise. Let's, big, big surprise. So it's very exciting. So everybody stay tuned. Um, here we go. So right off the bat, I'm going to pull out my CD I have. And I'm holding it up. And it's Resilient Heart. And it's signed, of course, by David Reese. Great and album. I'm holding up Great album. Vinyl and now let me, show, let me show everybody what you're holding up. Wow, look at the that vinyl. vinyl. And it's in a special blood red. Blood Check red. that out, people. Awesome. And it's a different running order than on CD. So that's uh, kind of a nice little perk. Let's see it again. A lot of times, hold it up. Hold it up. Uh, a lot of times, there's the cover, similar to the CD. And then the, the vinyl itself is blood red, as I said. See it, everybody? Beautiful, huh? Wow. And then, and it smells nice, too, like the old days, buddy. And oh, yeah. uh, the cool thing about the vinyl is it's got a different running order than the CD. Um, the reason for that is, of course, vinyl is a little bit shorter in the playing length. So we had to um, cut a few songs and we added um, a couple of songs that aren't on the CD. So um, it's kind of cool. So it's a good little thing for the fans. You know, if they buy the, the CD and then they want a little extra perk, the big LP is available as well. Nice, nice. A beautiful cover. Yep. I love your logo. Uh, I have Thank it you. also put up on my screen here as I'm talking. Um, nice. Let's just talk about this album was released not too long ago, Resilient Heart. What has been the reception from the fans on this album? For myself, I love the album, but what has been the fan reception as you're sort of you're touring now, you know, on the Reese Band, we'll call it. What has been yep. the reception of the new album? Unbelievable. Uh, it's, uh, you know, I did those Saint and Sinners albums and... I personally was growing tired of kind of being stuck in that white snake corner as a singer. So a few years ago, I really was looking at myself really hard and, and listening to a lot of young bands and new productions. So I said, why don't I get into that production mode and maintain the re sound vocally? But what I found with the people that have been buying my, my albums over the years, they're saying this is probably the best album Reese has done. And I mean, I mean, these are guys that I follow and they follow me for 35 years are saying this. So people are buying it all over the world. I'm getting a, like even glam sites are saying top five album of the year. Um, it's been un unbelievable. I, I, I'm so grateful. I mean, you know, like when you do an album, Jimmy, it's you kind of know when you're recording it. Like if you, I don't record at home because I think I produce myself great, but when I listen to it, it's, it sucks. So I go to the studio at Tanzan Studios near my home with Mario Percadani because he, he beats me up pretty good as a singer. But I can honestly say writing these songs, recording these songs, I w it was a joy every day to go and do it. And normally I, I don't really feel that way. I have certain favorites, but every one I couldn't wait to sing it. And I think I put that out on the record. It, it, I can feel it. And I actually can listen to all the songs when I do listen to the album. So, yeah, the response has been great. I feel great about it. And, th and that's a, a really great feeling, to be honest. It's, it's an amazing feeling. So, okay, the album's out. And you've just done a whole bunch of, you know, tour dates. I know what, a few with Artillery, right, from Denmark, when you played Denmark. I we guess. did one. Yeah, yeah we did, did one in Copenhagen. Great band as well. Big plug for them and their great new band. album. Um, oh, great band. Tell me what the reception has been like, you know, on tour in the past months or month. Well, how's how's uh, it been? Well, we kind of went out and did a scratcher to kick it off. Um, I had contracted some Eat the Heat shows, as you know, uh, earlier in the year, and had used some backing bands that some sucked, some were great. But with this lineup, we did four 
And that went great. That was back in the spring. And then in Spain in the early end of uh, October, we kicked off uh, promoting this album, Resilient Heart. But I was contracted in um, Madrid to do Eat the Heat exclusively, but he allowed me to do three or four songs from the album. The kickoff was great. And then we went into um, Switzerland, uh, like you said, Copenhagen on the release day, which was not November 9th. We opened for artillery. The place holds about 300 people. There were 380 in the room. It was nuts. Yeah. Uh, fantastic response. And, and the video for Any Time at All and Perfect Apocalypse had been out for a few weeks and people were actually singing along, wow. which was always a great feeling. And uh, people were buying the album and the CD and the T-shirts left and right at the merch booth. I mean, it was it was war. Fantastic. And then, like I said, Switzerland was amazing. I always loved playing there. Sweden, amazing. Um, we actually just came back last Saturday. Um, from Trollhattan, Sweden, a place called the Backstage Bar, a place I've played before. Uh, it was amazing. I mean, it's been really, really positive. Yeah. And, and you know what? Let's let's also give credit to your band, you know, which we, yeah. you know, David Reese, we all know you, but of course, you know, your new band, I guess it's your new band, the guys you're playing with, because we also got to give them props, right? These guys helped yeah, you create. To. Just tell me a little bit about your band and how they helped you create this album and how, how they help you on tour. Well, how it started originally was I was in Montana, and uh, for all of you guys out there that are musicians, a lot of us have day jobs, and uh, I was working my old job in Montana, and I had called Mike Tramp uh, about a label, and I was asking him if he was satisfied with Target, and he said, yeah, they'd give you a deal. I know they will. So I contacted them, and immediately they said, yeah, but we want you to write with Martin Frank, and he's in a band called Shotgun Revolution. And the first song we wrote was Karma, that's on this record. And then Two Coins and a Dead Man was the second song. So I knew immediately that's we had the vibe, right? It was, this is fresh, yeah. this is great, blah, blah, blah. So not long after that, Martin Frank decided to go into a different direction, kind of left me hanging in the wind. So I contacted the label and said, he's gone. And he was on the same label, so he had left the label. And... Uh, they recommended Marco Angioni and Martin Jepsen Anderson, who are on their label with another group called Meridian. And uh, so I reached out to him and I was really scared because I, I had, you know how that is, you, you get something working and is, if you bring something else in it, you, you're not sure it's going to work, right? So, and I've been through that a million times. So um, I sent them the template, which I'll call Karma and Two Coins and said, if you guys get this, then it's going to work. Uh, musically, because I didn't really know them first. And the first song I got from uh, Marco was Wicked City Blues. And I'm not really sure which one Martin sent me, but it was they're both amazing. They got it. When I got to know the guys, I started realizing they were cool people, which is really big on my list. Um, I got to hang out and be able to do things other than make music, right? So the drummer that we've used live his name is Sigurd Jensen he uh, he's not officially a band member but he's been doing really well with us live the guy that played drums on the album his name is Philip Mies he's a German guy he's an amazing guy but he just wants to do jazz and blues stuff so we had to get Sigurd obviously for the tour now the bassist many of you are familiar with is Melta Frederick Burkett I had done uh, two albums with him with Sainted Sinners and uh, he's an amazing bassist he and I have traveled all over Europe together, so he was my first choice to build this thing. So I've got a smoking hot band, um, great writers, great people. Uh, Marco Angioni also, he produced the album um, and mixed it. Wow. He's got a studio. Great job. Yeah, Death Island Studios. It's in Denmark, and it's actually Death Island is the real name of the place he lives. It's a Viking kind of name <laughs> for this island. In Denmark is crazy. I mean, I know when I heard Death Island Studios, I immediately thought, oh, God, black metal. You know, this is not for me. But that's the name of the place he lives at. So he did an amazing job producing and mixing. I mean, when I started getting back the demos, I, I mean, I was satisfied then, that, you know, the, the rough mixes. Yeah. But uh, what he did, uh, like you said, he said, he's amazing. All right. So, OK, we've done. We talked about the album. We talked about your, yep. your present tour that you just had. Or your yep. past tour. Let's talk about the new music video. I know you're really excited about this new music video. <laughs> you heard it here first. There's a new music video coming out. We'll try to yep. put some picture stills 
just to show everybody a little taster. We're not going to play yep. it here, but it will be coming out, I don't know when, maybe a few days from this video that has been released. Um, yep. Tell me a little bit about the making of this new video and how excited you are about it. Okay, I'll go to the first two videos that we did. Uh, Lena Angioni, Marco's wife, who's a filmmaker, did those two videos, Anytime at All, which was filmed at a festival we played last summer called Lupolo in Rock. And that's a cool little quick story because they contacted me. They own a club, these promoters, in a little city called Cremona. So I went down there not really knowing what was going on. When I walked in the door, they were playing Mistreated, I'll Eat the Heat. And one guy bowed to me. It was kind of embarrassing, but it was cool. And then they started to proceed to tell me that they were starting a festival and they wanted me to play Eat the Heat, right, at this show. Yeah. And I would open for Dead Daisies. Cool. Okay, well, Dead Daisies canceled and we're doing something in Australia, I think. And called me a couple of days later and said, would you headline? I mean, how great is that? Jeez. I mean, my first gig, I'm headlining a new festival outside with my new band and a new album coming out. So yeah, we did Eat the Heat and we filmed the song Anytime at All there with Lena. Then the second single was A Perfect Apocalypse, which is one of my favorite tracks on the album. We filmed that in uh, Denmark on Death Island. Uh, she did an amazing job on that. Anyways, getting to the new baby, um, we had done the kind of the live thing and the performance thing uh, on the first two videos. And Two Coins and a Dead Man is basically when you die, they place the coins on your eyes. You know the story if you're allowed to heaven or hell. That's the lyric story. But I kind of wrote it about the devil and a woman meeting the devil and falling for him and basically realizes he's the devil and she murders him <laughs> in the song. And so I had a lot on my plate as a storyboard, right? How am I going to pull this off in three minutes and eight seconds? So I got together with Valerio Fia, a brilliant video director, and we laid it out. And so basically, I'm the devil in the video with this crazy kind of Aussie-like makeup, you know, slick back hair. And the model that we had hired flaked out on me at the last moment. So I hired my wife to play. Ah, yeah. Okay. Nadia is it her first debut on film. And she's a beautiful woman. And she pulled it off beautifully where she actually murders me with blood oh, and all yeah. that stuff. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> ah, she, hey, you're the devil. I don't need you. Ah, ah, ah. So it's really, it's, it's, it's kind of like a, a movie, um, uh, uh, Sons of Anarchy kind of motorcycle look when I walk in, and it's kind of a movie before we kick into the track. And we filmed it in this little tiny club uh, outside of Milan. So it's got the smoky vibe and card playing and, and murder and everything. And, I, and it was kind of my first co-directing thing. I mean, I've done it before with bands, offered my ideas, but of course they go, go away, little man. You know, we're in charge. It's, you know, you're, we're getting 100,000 euros for this, so you mean nothing. But yeah. because I wrote the lyric, I wanted to be a real big part of it and present what the story is. And I'm so excited about it because it, it just it came together perfectly. I mean, the, the stars aligned on it. So I'm planning to release it at noon on December 5th, Central European time. Okay. Um, that's a that'll first. Be the that's day. it. There's a premiere that's right it. there. There we go. You heard oh, it here first. Oh. <laughs> All right. So moving <laughs> down the talk. list of things to talk about. Okay. So, yeah. you know, I, I made a little video. Oh, Peter Baltes from Accept. We'll go into this now. Mm -hmm. uh, he he announces, he, you know, he's no longer in the band. And a lot of, you know, of course, you know, the whole community, the metal community is shocked and saddened yep. by all of this. Right. Of course, the band, too, is saddened and shocked by this. And it's it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. I Then I do a video posting because that's what i do a lot of people said yep. how dare you do this <laughs> when he quits you know you got like thousands it was, it was, of sites world, yeah i mean you know? it was like within 30 minutes the whole world was buzzing that yeah peter had announced so you're doing what a journalist uh, host does i mean yeah. i loved it i saw immediately i woke up and I actually went to the bathroom and i turned it on and there you were yeah so and, and i just want to tell everybody you know not only do we do journalistic news and we meet bands but we do opinion pieces and i've been doing this for like nine or ten years now so anyone who says you have no right to talk about it let me just tell everybody we have probably interviewed on this show wolf hoffman seven times we've interviewed yep. mark we've interviewed peter we've interviewed udo we've interviewed you we've yep. i don't think we've been done herman frank but 
just to say, That's I've also it. appeared in Martin Popoff's book on Accept and their biography. So I think I kind of like know what's right. going on here. And I think that gives me the the justification to, to make any comments about anything, right? It's not like I just started doing this and I'm just commenting about it. And right. it I'm going to say, and I'm going to say this, I wish Wolf all the success in the world. This guy is super talented and I hope Accept continues to be a brand name. And, and again, this video is all about shock. Oh my God, what's going to happen now? And it was also about what are the fans thinking now? And that's what I do. I do opinion pieces and I let the fans do opinion pieces too. Right? Now, absolutely, and and again, I'm just going to say on the record, I wish accept all the success. I hope they come out with an even better album than last time because they had a great album, and I hope Peter finds whatever he's looking for, as you two says, and all the success to Peter as well. Now, a quick statement from you, if you want to just talk about it for a few minutes. Yeah, um, I ha ha have said many times that I would not be sitting in this chair talking to Jimmy K at the Metal Voice or doing Metal Hammer or any of the other major uh, media outlets had it not been for the opportunity of being in Accept. Now, I mean, uh, people hated me and they love me. People still hate me for that record. But people the last five years or so are bringing that album to me saying, wow, I didn't realize I hated it, the change and blah, blah, blah. But now I realize how really great the album is. All I can say is, musically, that unit are amazing. They are the brand. If it wasn't for Fast as a Shark, there wouldn't be Metallica. There wouldn't be many of these speed metal bands that are out today. That's their icon. I mean, except opened that door, knocked it down, and created metal. Okay, yeah. they, are, they are the kings. And I have nothing but respect for Wolf Hoffman. I have nothing but respect for Mark Tornillo. I saw them live in Milan. He was fantastic. I mean, their new album had just, you know, been out for a while, and they were, I think it's Rise of Chaos. They were singing the words. They opened with some of those songs. So I was standing in the audience going, wow, they're not doing, you know, uh, Metal Heart or something. These people are, are singing the new album. So that speaks volumes as well. Now, as far as Peter, sure, we had a falling out, but I have never, ever, had nothing but utmost respect for him, his input and his his, his legacy of, of rock and roll. He's probably one of the greatest bass players that ever lived. You know, him and Steve Harris are right up there besides my bass player. And all I can say is I wish them continued success. It's a it's a big blow for the band. Uh, I know how it is being in a rock and roll band. It's like a marriage. And I have nothing but praise. I don't badmouth the band. And I, I wish them nothing but great success because they are the premier metal band from Germany still. Yep. And I wish Peter great success and the rest of the band. And just a plug for them, Symphonic, the, the, the Symphonic Tour is going to start. The new album has been released. The DVD has, Symphonic Terror that is, the new wow. CD, DVD has been released and they will be going on tour I sometime either at the end of January or beginning of February across North America and probably so many more countries. It's very exciting because they're taking a Sun and Bacchus, symphony yeah. on tour with them, which I think is brilliant. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, all the success that's to them. a great move. Great all move. Right. I mean, basically it was symphonic metal and everything. I mean, I know Wolf comes from a classical background, so this is right up his alley, and, and I wish him success with it. So tell me now what your big surprise is. Tell me what's <laughs> going on. All right. I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready for it. I'm holding on go. to my chair here. Okay. February 1st, David Reese is special guest of UDO in Germany and Switzerland. I cannot wow. tell oh my you God. how cool. amazing and blessed wow. that I, I feel right at this time. Uh, I've known Udo for a long time. And believe me, when I met him, he was no longer the singer of Accept. He was on his own, and we were in the same studio. But over the years, we've maintained a high level of respect for one another. His son, Sven, had a group called Damage, who opened for me in Germany back in the mid-2000s. And Nudo occasionally would pop in, and, and it was kind of a big deal for the audience to see Reese standing there and Udo Dirkschneider. So I'm really ex excited to see how the public reacts to this. Um, 
I know what you're probably going to ask me next, so I'll let you take it. <laughs> well, actually, I'm going to ask you this. Okay, let me let me just get this clear. I just want to understand this, okay? Okay. So, your 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 special guest, or your I guess your opening up for Udo opening, on yeah. a few I'm days, opening, right? right? And I know you yep. guys in the past were supposed to record together. And we're going back 10, 15 years now. There's always been, a, I know you guys have been friends for many years. And I know you're yeah. friends with the son. So, I guess it makes sense that this kind of happened. But just clarify here, you're opening up for Udo on how many dates? Like, uh, just for the uh, Right now, them. officially there are 10. And you want me to run them down for you for the German well, for viewers? Sure. Well, might and, as well. Might as well. Okay. Uh, February 1st is Heidelberg. The second would be Regensburg. The third of February is Stuttgart. The uh, sixth is Munich. The seventh is the Z7 in Prattown. That's in Switzerland. Uh, the eighth will be Memmingen. The ninth, Schwalmstadt. The 10th, Leipzig. The 12th is Turbin and Halle. The 13th is Hanover. That will be my last gig with them it's right now. When we're, we're talking about extending it but because Udo is going, I believe, on the um, 14th. No, no, wait. Yeah, he's heading to the United States, actually, uh, not long after that. But those are the de- dates that Udo's management and I have confirmed together, those first 10. 10. Wow. And I cannot tell you how great I feel. This is an opportunity that I'm thankful from the bottom of my heart to UDO and his organization to spend all of them. Thank you so much. Well, you know, I think my dream as a fan, and I could speak for all fans out there, is some sort of accept fest. I know everyone's going to, there's a lot of politics behind that, but I'm just dreaming here. You know, you have like accept, you have UDO playing, and you have David Reese playing, and you can even have Herman Frank throw him in there. Some Shanker's sort of traveling festival. But that's just a dream. Shanker's of mine, doing it as a fan. Shanker's doing it. I mean, look at Shanker Fest. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's. Uh, I mean, he brought back guys that he hadn't spoken to for years, but that was part of his legacy, and it's yeah. been hugely successful because people get a part of the last 40 years of his career. So, so that, yeah, um, me, what month are you you're touring in? Sorry, I, I, I didn't February. Know. February. So February. So February first through the thirteenth. Uh, wow, that in that's, Germany and one and one show in, in uh, the Z seven in Switzerland, Pratel. That's I think it's really cool. You know, you're playing your stuff, he's playing his stuff, and I know he's not playing yeah. any more except nope. uh, songs. So he's you know strictly playing the solo stuff. I know you guys have been yeah. friends for for years now. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I think that's a, that's a great package for fans. And again, no sli- no no shot to accept. I, I I wish them all the success on their symphonic tour, which I think is another amazing tour. Uh, you know, I hope that you guys come to uh, North America and Canada. I'd love to come. Of course, I've seen Udo so many times, and I've met the guy so many times. But I'd love to see you come out. You know, in in North- and I, and for you, that's the way to come, right? It's tough yeah. as a sort of like we'll call it an opening slot to come into North Ooh. America, and this is probably your the right. Uh, we'll call it package for you to be able to go into those territories you just can't go into. Absolutely. And and I know that Udo is selling out a lot of the venues that he's doing. So judging by the audience response, I'm sure that will be something that will be discussed during the tour. Yeah. Um, I need to get my band to the United States because I have a lot of people that are fans of my career and really Brazilian heart, of course. Um, there's a lot of logistic issues, obviously, with uh, visas and everything, but that's that's a small anthill to climb, in my opinion. I mean, anything's possible. Well, that that's really exciting news, David. I'm really happy for you. And, uh, you. you know, to me, as an Accept fan, I got, you know, I got Accept, I got you, I got Udo. It's, you know, just all kinds of stuff that I'm looking forward to. That sounds amazing. Um, and another thing, I yeah, can't Oh, something else. Oh, wait a second. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. End of April into May, there's going to be another big surprise that I'd like to tell you about in your show. I can't mention it now, oh my God. but uh, it probably make your ears stretch with the smile Jeez. that you get. But that's another biggie. Um, yeah, I just I feel really blessed, and, and the opportunity is is amazing. So, yeah, man, I'm going to give it everything I've got, and I have to ask Udo's permission, of course, out of respect, if I'm able to perform any of the Eat the Heat stuff in my set, because Udo is the man. It's his show. I will try for the fans to do some Eat the Heat stuff, judging by what the boss says. And uh, I will play it if he if he gives me his blessing. But uh, we talked about doing an album, like he said before. Originally, that was my idea. I had uh, uh, a song that I had written called I'm a Survivor that I actually wrote for Udo with me singing along with him. 
So maybe one day we'll be able to finally finish that. I don't know. But that would be a dream come true as well. And just for all a tidbit for all you fans out there, Udo did sing XTC that came off Eat the Heat album killed that you sang on. And he killed it. Yeah, he because killed you could tell it. it was sort of like, you know, there's a there's a Udo vibe there that you had. Is yeah. there a Reese vibe and an Udo vibe? And it could work with both voices. Yeah. I mean, um, I play it actually live sometimes in my set. And I play D-Train. I do Generation Clash. I do Hellhammer. Um, we did Break the Ice on a couple of shows. It really didn't work for us musically, but I love the song. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, it's 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 really, like I said, uh, you know, as an opener, you, you must bow to the respect of the king, which will be Udo. And uh, I will discuss it um, with his management and him, if it's okay. Um, but I'm just going to go out there and, and kick ass, and, and uh, I can't wait to break the door down with Germany. What an opportunity. I mean, Udo is, you know, amazing and going strong as ever live. I mean, the guy's got ironclad vocal cords. I mean, <laughs> that's because <he laughs> Look eats, that's cause every morning in his cereal, he puts a few nails in there. Yeah, he eats nails and, and straps of metal or something, but... I mean, I just watched a video of him in Russia and, you know, with Andre and the band, you know, the Russian audience was going berserk. So yeah, yeah. he All sounded right. the same. There we go. There you have it, folks. A uh, new album, Resilient Heart. I'll just pick it up here and I'll show everybody again. Resilient Heart, go pick music. it up. Uh, David Reese on tour with Udo. Surprising, amazing news. That's very, very cool. Also, the new video coming out this week. Dave, yep. you know... Uh, it, you know, I know you've had a lot of ups and downs, you know, from a bonfire to, of course, the accept years to just in general, you know, trying to pick up your career and get things going. I'm really happy for you. It looks like everything's on a total upswing right now and you deserve it. You work hard and you deserve, you know, what, what you're doing. And I can uh, you say know, one thing, I mean, yeah, I, sure. if I may interrupt, there's one thing that I have done in my life. I'm completely sober and uh, it's been a long time now that I haven't touched a drop of alcohol. And, and I will say that alcohol was a hindrance in my life. I'm not ashamed to admit it, but I feel great. I'm singing better than ever before. Um, I got more power physically, mentally than I've ever had. Um, I, I'm blessed with that too. I just made the choice one day. I mean, the stress of this business, like you just mentioned, it's not a reason to sit down and drink over. It's a full contact sport and you gotta keep fighting. And like Ronnie said, Ronnie Dio, when he joined Sabbath, Put your head in the lion's mouth, and if you bite down, there goes your friggin' head. So that, that's what he said, and he that's took it. it all the way. Yeah, yeah. All right, Dave, thanks for being on the show. We will talk soon, buddy. 